All right, so for the next chunk, I'm looking at this top structure where I have a window or I have no window. So I need two blocks that represent that change that I can interchange back and forth. Okay, very simple. Now that I have this, this is my keystone piece. It dictates the scale of just about everything else from here on out. So here, I'm just going to go in here and duplicate that face, pull it up. Okay, and then take this face, extrude that up. Just like that. So I need one face with without something in here and one face with something in here. So in this case, well, look at that. I already got a nice little block section right here. So modify center pivot it and shoot it off to the side. Then I have to just work out its variance. Insert edge loop here and here. Get rid of the center and again use that bridge command to make it a solid chunk. Okay, another thing I like to do is reuse things a lot. In this case, the window has two panes in it, but it's really narrow. What could I use? Well, how about this? Okay, so I'll grab a face here, 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 and then right click, control right click to shell. Okay, and well, it'd be easier to just do this Ma mesh separation. Go into four, go like that. Mesh combine, shift D to duplicate, and then bring that up. So the only thing I'm changing here is the arc at the top. Uh, I can just pull down these vertices and now I have the piece I need. six on a keyboard. There we go. We got our two different variances. And that was like really super simple. Right? Uh, so after after that first window, it's really kind of simple and we can go on with the rest of the pieces, but let's kind of put that up here. I'm going to put this next to it. And then I'm going to take this one and recombine it. And take that one, oops, missed a piece. Shift D it over. And there we go, we got our two variances and now I can start working on the rest. Uh, I'll do this bottom piece here. This is that separation piece between the two st stories. This little thin strip. Again, I want it to be any length so I can make this building any length. So it's going to be modeled off of this chunk and this chunk can be used over and over again. Great. Again, um, I'm just I have a variance between not 
no window at the top and this window with the top uh, I'm just going to kind of keep them tit for tat updated as I go along so that's a couple other little structures that we have let's go on to the next video